Hi, my name is Dave Heathcote and I'm the man that innovated what is now known as PIP Tech or PIP Technology, which is pre-ignition technology. Um, the, the purpose of this video is to, it does many things, but the purpose of this video is regarding refrigerators and freezers. They can be industrial, they can be commercial, they can be just domestic ones. Uh, over the years, many fires are created by uh, refrigeration units. Here's a small one in front of us and the fire which that could produce is equally as bad as any other fire. And it's usually around this area here where you have um, all the connections made in most fridges. Most of the uh, connections which would get hot are around the compressor. And so what we've done is to use the technology which we use for other things is to find a way of actually protecting people from refrigeration units when they catch fire or to stop them catching fire. And it's very simple. What we've done is produced this lead. Uh, it's long enough to go at the back of the fridge. It can be made longer. It can be made as long as you like. This particular unit is for the British uh, Middle Eastern type of plug and socket which is what we call BS1363 and this little unit contains the technology which will do nothing it will sit redundant until such time it is required if if too much heat buildup is here now we all remember unfortunately in Kensington in London in June 2017, 2017, a most appalling inferno happened, uh, which was least expected. And an awful lot of people uh, turn around and are talking about what burned. And yes, there is a problem with cladding, and there is a problem with smoke ventilation, and there are probably many more problems. But one of the greatest problems is that a fire started at all. I've always stated that if you'd have covered that place in liquid paraffin or wax paraffin and, or even petrol and no fire had started, then there wouldn't have been a fire. So we work on the electrical faults which can create fires, which are not otherwise protected. There's nothing in your consumer unit or your uh, fuse board which will protect against this kind of fire. Nothing at all. Whatever people claim scientifically won't happen. But what we do is we place a redundant unit, which is this. There's your British plug. That's your hot end. That's where all the clever bits done, which will do nothing unless the usual gen the general area of heat is built up here in all fridges big and small alike and that is precisely what the inspectors found when they looked into the Grenfell Inferno remembering that killed 72 people and put thousands of others at risk yes there shouldn't have the fire shouldn't have spread as fast and yes there are very honourable investigations going along at the moment. But if a fire is not ignited, it won't start. There will be no fire. So we're going to give you a little, a very simple experiment here. And we're going to show you how this works. The fridge is plugged in. We've obviously, this is in a test bench scenario so that you can see what we're doing. So here we have the, the, the fridge plugged in and it, it, uh, it's plugged into an Australian socket because that's where this is being done now. But just for, for this part, I've actually, we have a British socket there. We're going to put the, the, um, the, the protection device into a British socket to, because you'll probably understand it better that way. So what we do is we just clip it into here. It's in the vicinity. And plug it in switch it on 
That's all that does it. It doesn't use any electricity. It doesn't in any way interfere with the refrigerator. And if there is no fire, it'll stand like that forevermore. But if we, we're going to apply heat by using a hair, a hair dryer, because it would be very complicated to wire this up and create a, um, an artificial fault. Because when they do happen, they will happen. So we're just going to simulate it with a hair dryer. Now, what would happen is that this device will use the, trip the whole circuit that this, this refrigerator is plugged into. And so the circuit will go out. There will be no fire. It's pre-ignition. At 85 degrees C, this will react. It, 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 there's no, this, at, never at any time does this area become 85 degrees C, which is not hot enough to create a fire by any means, but it is too hot to be right, too hot to be running correctly. The device will need to be fitted by a competent person um, and it, it is but it's only plugged in and it doesn't involve the people who build the white goods at all it's applied by the landlord or the tenant by using a person who's competent an electrician for instance here we go let's just give it a try give it a whirl now this is this is your simulating your compressor warming up getting hotter And it gets to 85 degrees C, which is far too hot for what it should be, but nothing like as hot enough to create a fire. What's that happening? Says it all, doesn't it? Says it all. The refrigerator, nothing's working now because the circuit's gone on. All it requires, the only change it may require, is that there may be a single socket uh, available behind the refrigerator. And that would need to be made into, use a converter plate, a simple converter plate, which can be fitted by an electrician quite reasonably, even in London. And that will house both the plug for the fridge and the protection device. We call it, uh, we call it fridge freezer Tarbosil. Tarbosil actually stands for something, but we just call it FFT, the FFT device. And this one is for uh, the United Kingdom because it's simply got that type of plug on it. Now, just to finish, it does concern me that something so simple could have stopped the Grenfell fire. And it wasn't permitted because of certain regulations which stood in its way, which are no longer there. We feel extremely concerned because this technology is available in, in its finished form, something similar to this, in 2011. Uh, I, it bothers me at all times, it will bother me for the rest of my life, that people didn't listen when they were told that this existed. A new technology, a technology which uses the consumer unit itself to isolate a circuit where no other device in the consumer unit could have done it, because it's not an overload, neither, neither is it an arc, neither is it somebody unfortunate having electric shock, which we use with RCDs or RCBOs. It's none of those things. It required that, and that's all. Thank you.